morning guys, today is April 2016, April 2016, April 6, 2016, sorry about the camera, and I'm super excited for my competition, I'm officially four weeks out in a couple days, I don't know how many days, officially four weeks out, so it's about a month now, and I've been doing pretty good on my meals, pretty good on my diet, you know, I've been cheating here and there, it's my first competition, so I'm super excited though, and I want to come in in the best shape as I can, and right now I am officially in the best shape, the best shape I've ever been in my entire life, four years now, because thing is I started bodybuilding about four years now so with this competition and all I'm just gonna explain a little bit as to what it is and all the details and whatnot so it is actually called the INBF when I say WNBF uh, for my YouTube videos it's because it's road to WNBF INBF comes first then it goes to WNBF and then you can become a WNBF pro you get a pro card from the INBF show and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get a WNBF pro card to compete in the WNBF which is in the US so the INBF is a natural competition. They're going to be doing lots of testing. So we've been doing a polygraph test before the competition and then a piss test if you won the competition. And that's really the way it works. Obviously, there's supplements you can't use, supplements you can use. Uh, obviously, you can't be using steroids and there's tons and tons of steroids. They have a whole list as to what you could use and what you cannot use. Obviously, you can't use steroids. And that's why I really want to do this competition is because it's natural based. Um, everybody's going to be competing. Everyone's going to be... It's whoever really worked hard enough to achieve that physique and whatnot, right? Um, obviously genetics will come to play, but really it's all what I can do. I can't determine on what other people come in with. So I'm going to do the best I can to come in the best shape as possible. That being said, yeah, so it is called the INBF, not the WNBF if you get that confused. I'm super excited. It's going to be about a three hour ride to get there. Three hours back, obviously. I have to book a hotel, so I have to book that polygraph as well. Then I, just, I also have to get spray tanned so you guys will see how dark I get and when it comes to about one week out I'll probably be doing a video almost every single day because I'll do like five days out four days out you know all the way to the show itself show you guys um, as to what I'm doing the way I'm looking uh, and you got to realize when you're peak when when you're on peak week you can't really change too much it's more so your carb intake your sodium intake you can't really just cut down fat just like that you just, it's more so the weeks coming in to the peak week is the time where you should be cutting down the fat and whatnot, right? I'm super excited for the show. Hope that gave you guys a little bit of detail as to uh, what's going on. And they're going to be doing a weigh-in actually just before the show, so we'll see how much I weigh and whatnot. Yeah, I hope that gives you a little bit of uh, detail and explanation to what the show is like, what the show is going to be about. I believe I still have to practice my T-walk, if you guys know what that is. It's like you go straight, go to the right, and you go to the left, so it's kind of like a T. Like it's for the posing and whatnot. So we got ourselves here some ground beef. Guess what sauce is in there, guys? Honey garlic. You guessed it. And we got a bunch of vegetables. So I'm pretty much eating low carbs. And only carbs, like I said before, is for the sauces. And a bunch of vegetables, which does have carbs, but it's healthy carbs. Really low calories. And nothing to worry about, really. If you're having rice and all that stuff. Nothing wrong with that either. But uh, you have to pay more attention as to how much you intake and whatnot. With this, I could take as many vegetables as I want. Meat, obviously, you gotta still uh, make sure you're not eating too much meat because it's bad for you. If you eat too much, you're hard and everything. So I got myself meat, vegetables, and I cut myself two oranges just like as a little snack before the gym. And then, I'm gonna be hitting shoulders today, guys, like I promised. What do we got here, Robert? We got my pre-workout. Nano Vapor, fruit punch flavor, of course. Ooh. Gets me going. Yes, guys, I'm wearing the athletic apparel tank top here. You guys can see in the description below. Uh, if you guys want to get 
this one, there's white one, there's red one, and I believe there's also a black one, if I'm not mistaken, and gray. So the different types, I really do like the pants, and you guys probably seen uh, myself using them in other videos. They do look very similar to the Adidas, or not Adidas, Nike pants, sweatpants, gray sweatpants. Uh, there's supposed to be different colors coming out soon. There's tons and tons of new stuff coming out, so check it out in the description below for athletic apparel. So guys, today we did shoulders. We started off with military press. So for warm up, we did one set of military press and one set for a rear delts just to warm up the whole shoulder in general. Then we did military press. So we did a pyramid up to the heaviest weight. So we did our warm up set, then we did slightly heavier, then we did our heaviest weight for that set. Then after that, we did a 40 pound dumbbells. We took 40 pounds, then did a drop set of 22. 0.5 pounds and we did that for two sets and then we were done for military press then we went straight on to our side delts we did lateral raises for uh, about three drop sets for each set three or four drop sets depending on what weights were there I started it off with 30s then went down to 25s then down, down to 20s then down to 15s and down to 10s it's just all depending on what was there and whatnot so we would differ between uh, 2.5 up or 2.5 down in pounds and my friend as well, Robert, he did 20 pounds, then he did 15, then he did 10s, putting tons and tons of blood into it, so you really get a good pump from this exercise. And we did three sets of that, so there's tons of drop sets, tons of, of reps in general. We, for reps, we would do about 12 reps the first, uh, first set, and then we would do about seven to nine reps for each set after that because there's doing so many, so many drop sets, right? Then right after, we did rear delts. So for rear delts, we took one weight. So for me, I took 12.5s, uh, for Robert, he took 7.5s, and what we did is we turned our wrists. So the first, make sure you're watching the wrists in this. So the first motion is your, your pinkies, pinkies are pointed outward, and then afterwards your pinkies are pointing back. So first you would do 7, we did 7 reps first, and then we would do 7 reps right after uh, with our pinkies faced backwards uh, what we decided to do is add two more reps to that because seven was too easy for us which ends up being 14 right so we did nine reps instead and that would end up being 18 in total nine one way and then nine the other and this is right after so there's no rest in between guys one after the other switch your wrists and just keep going uh, the reason for this is because when you hit your shoulders or when you uh, hit your shoulders in certain ways or turning your wrists it's gonna be easier certain ways than other ways so I made it so we do the harder way first and then we do the easier way after so you're still able to do those nine reps for each single exercise then we went back to the side delt now for the side delt you can see we're using cable now this is more so for tension not necessarily just directly hitting the muscle but to tense that muscle up to squeeze it make it pop out make it really look full and lean so what we did we went in a slant try to squeeze squeeze at the top of the muscle you guys are kind of seeing here a little bit so make sure you are slanted because if you don't slant it's not going to do much of a difference it's more so hit your traps slant a bit try to keep that tension on your shoulder and mainly just your shoulder you will hit your traps a bit that will be normal for most people but try to focus on your side delt when you're doing this exercise and it allow you to get more of that squeeze get that more of a pump and really feel that muscle working in general for this exercise we did three sets of 12 to 15 this is high reps you can see we're only using five pounds the lowest weight you could use there it's more so to really burn and activate that muscle and for me myself since I am cutting down I am focused on cutting down and really shredding that muscle down so then we went back to front delt and side delt and for the front delt and side delt we kind of just brought the weights up make sure the blood's still flowing in the muscle kind of keep that tension going so the first part you would keep your thumbs upward to activate that front delt a lot more than you would with your side delt obviously this does hit a lot of your shoulder but mainly your front down when you're keeping your thumbs up Next, you would keep your thumbs towards you, so you would make sure the thumbs are pointed to each other, and this will activate more so your side delt and your front delt uh, when doing this exercise. So we do one after the other, 10 reps, 10 reps, just like how we did with our rear delts, right after, no rest, quick, right away. So that's 20 reps for one set, and that's three sets of 20, that's 60 reps in total. And to finish off shoulders, we went back to rear delts. We did cable rear delts, I don't know what they're called, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So with this exercise, you want to keep a slight bent in your back, kind of like you're doing a deadlift, so make sure your back is not curved. This is main, This is key to making sure your back is not going to cause any problems or injuries. Same with your elbow, you're going to keep your elbow locked. 
Uh, you don't want to keep it straight, you want to keep it slightly bent so you're activating that rear delt. You can see with this exercise, it does activate the rear delts. You're trying to squeeze at the top, like I said with a lot of other shoulder exercises that we've been doing recently. Uh, make sure you're squeezing, it's going to make that muscle pop, it's going to make that blood flow in the muscle, and overall, you got to make sure you're squeezing your muscles if you really want them to show and look round, right? With your biceps, with your triceps, with any muscle in general, guys. Ooh, I just finished shoulders, pretty good session. How's that, Robert? Good. Very good. Killer. You can't move his arms. See, guys, work out with me. You can't move your arms. You make all kinds of gains. Just all kinds. See, Robert. This, this. This, this. This, this. taste we got ourselves here some KFC stuff ready to go after our competition after we win that competition you see this you see all these coupons they're all gonna be used <laughs> You guys haven't noticed yet but I didn't really make my meals today uh, it's kind of being a little lazy took a nap watched Captain America number one and two can't wait for number three I'm pretty sure it's supposed to come out soon Civil War looks sick I'm loving the spider-man anyways with my meals today so I'm not really I didn't really make any meals I just kind of been going with the flow for today for today I made, I made my meals yesterday day before all the other days I was really lazy today, so I am still eating healthy, I'm not eating junk, stuff like that, right? So I got myself a bowl of ground beef, it's about 200 grams. Then I got myself two oranges I cut up. Like, guys, that's that's my meal for today. Or for, <laughs> not for an entire day, but for right now, before I had a meal that I created yesterday. Uh, cooked yesterday, created yesterday, cooked yesterday, and now I'm having this. Tonight, I think I'm going to be having some more meat. And I think it's just a little bit of vegetables. But that really, it still meets your macros. You're eating low carbs, absolutely almost no carbs. Because like I said, for me, no bread, no rice, no pasta. Uh, what's another carb? Uh, junk food, you know. Here and there have junk food though, not going to lie. So, But that's the meal right now. i uh, show you later on what I'm going to be eating. Don't know yet. Do not know yet, but it'll be low carbs or no carbs. Like I said again guys, going with the flow. Here we got some sausage, just cut up two sausages, and a Caesar salad. So, just going with the flow for today. I'll be making some more meals tomorrow. What you doing this morning, pra pa Patrick? Patrick? Play Xbox. Play an Xbox? Mm -hmm. What are you watching? YouTube. How's, you winning? It's next period. Next period? Yeah, I'm watching my one goal. Okay. Wait, are you winning or losing? I'm losing. Come on. Okay, meal prep time. We got here vegetables. We got carrots, broccoli. Just all kinds of stuff. And then, we got some ground beef going. And we're going to be using honey garlic. Mm -hmm. 